Crystal Flames, and today I'll be teaching you how to hold the five-headed crane. So to start off this model, I recommend an 8-inch or higher paper. Right now I'm using a 10-inch origami paper. So you start off with a water bomb base. You fold this edge to this edge. Flip it, don't rotate it, fold this edge to this edge, and then now orient like this, you see there's a flap, you open up the flap and flatten it so that the creases are sharp and that this ends in a point. You flip the paper over, and you repeat. Remember to crease sharply. This is the first step. Step is to make four small square bases using each of these flaps. So to do that, you fold this corner to the top. Unfold. And then you fold this crease to the center crease unfold and then finally you fold this edge to the center crease unfold and so now you want to make a squash fold along the crease you just made here so turn this fold into a valley fold and it should be like this open it up and squash fold it along these two folds now you see here that there are two lines here and here you want to have a line going here to here. So stick your finger inside the squash fold and open it up. And it should naturally come to a stop when you reach that point. And do that same on the other side. So that now you have a line making a triangle here to there. When you have that done, then you'll see that something like this will happen. And you want to squash fold this fold. And then flatten all the creases. Once that's done, 
then you simply squash the center flap to make part of a square base. Repeat this step on all four flaps so you continue going along until you're done with flaps. two flaps. Your model should look like this. Flip it over and continue doing the flaps. After you finish the four flaps, your model should look like this. But this model is to work on one of the parts of a square base. And so for this one, so for the first one, you'll fold just a regular bird base. You can pre-crease the creases if you like, but this isn't necessary if you can fold a perfect petal fold. So now you take this flap and pedal fold it along to these creases. Make sure the creases are exact as you can get it. Now you go either left or right, it doesn't matter, but it has to be directly adjacent. You cannot pick the opposite one to fold this next step. So on one of the ones directly next to it, you do another pedal fold. So once you finish this step, you should have two pedal folded parts of a square base. Two remaining parts of a square base, you do not pedal fold it. However, you do do the pre-creases, so you fold this edge to the center crease. When you're done with this, then you'll fold the same edge, but instead of folding it to the center, you'll fold it to this crease. And do the same on the other side. Now, you will fold this edge to this crease, which is the first crease you'll see.
I accidentally messed up on that one, but you have to fold this one to the nearest crease. You'll have to do this on the last remaining part of the square base. All of those pre-creases. This next step is a tricky step. So you'll open up the flap, and it may look like you're going to pedal fold, and you are doing a pleat pedal fold. And so on the first one, the first crease, which is here, you will do a mountain fold on that crease. And so it'll naturally fall into place like this. And so on the second crease, this one, which will lie directly on the center crease here, you will do a valley fold. On the last one, You'll simply fold another mountain fold. Repeat this on this side. Mountain fold, valley fold, finally mountain fold. Once you're done with this step, you'll have a thinner flap that looks like this. Repeat this on the one that you pre creased earlier. Step, your model should look like this. On one side, you have a thin pleat pedal fold. Next to it, you should also have a pleat pedal fold. Next to that one, you should have a normal pedal fold. And next to that one, you should have a pedal fold. Step, open the model to one of the normal pedal folds. Lift up the flap if you haven't done so already. And you will take a single layer and fold this edge to the center. And do that on the other side. Open up to the other normal pedal fold. And repeat. Take a single layer. And fold it to the center. So now you have two flaps that look like this. On the remaining two flaps in the center, open up so it looks like this, 
and fold the single layer to the center. Flip over the model. You'll see the two flaps next to each other. So on this one, open up to the center like you did on the previous step and fold a single layer to the center crease. You'll have two remaining. Open up to those two and continue folding this edge to the center edge. By now, your model should look like a whole bunch of small flaps. With two of these flaps next to each other with one flap in the center. Step. Orient it so that the two flaps like this are facing towards here until only one flap is towards facing the back. You should also notice that it should have these which are the normal pedal folds that you folded earlier. In this next step, you will fold the single flap and the back up, so inside reverse the fold up like this. You can change the angle of the tail of the model however you like. Now you will fold the heads. Take the center flap here. and inside reverse fold it up. Inside reverse fold the other four flaps up the same way. On this last inside reverse fold, you might notice that as you're inside reverse folding it, the paper might feel a little uneven. If so, then you can always switch the layers around like this so that there's an even amount of layers on each side. So there should be two layers of paper on each side. Right now your model should look like this. Five flaps facing up in the center, one flap in the back, and a mountain in the center with two large flaps to the This side. next step you will be folding the head, the wing, and the body. So in the five flaps facing towards the front, you will want to reach the center and inside reverse fold a small tip downwards like this. That is the first head of the crane. Continue inside reverse folding 
until you've finished all five heads. Alternatively, you could fold one head and five tails. Now that all the heads are complete, it's time to work on the wings. Fold the wings down as far as they can go. And your model should look like this so far. We have to deal with this in this the step, next step. You will be doing a very large sink fold. So pre crease this huge flap downwards like this as far as it can go you want it to this crease to reach all the way down to the point here right now this is good because this crease is at the top of this point Pre-crease it on the other side too. Now here is time for the large sink fold. Hold the model up like this and pull every flap away from each other. When it reaches this point, it should level out like this. You want to achieve this on all of the sides. This should be good enough. At this point, you should press it down until it becomes concave instead of convex. This should refine the edges you made here. At this step, you want to make the folds you made clearer, although this will not, this does not have to be perfect as you'll never see it. You want it to be sort of an inside out umbrella. Once that's finished, you just push it all together into its normal state. This sink fold doesn't have to be perfect, but the size does matter. You'll notice that it'll have some poking down here, and you can deal with that later. Now, we'll continue refining the body of the crane. Starting from the back, you'll take these two and fold these points into the center here. You'll see that it looks flush like that. Do this for all flaps here. Fold the flaps to the center so that they are hidden.
That was the last step. Your five-headed crane is complete. All you have to do now is to refine the heads to make sure that the model is perfect. And you can alter the wings so that they're straight. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.